Hey everyone, Simon here from Simon Says It. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can combine two different cells of data in Excel and merge them into a new cell. For example, I have here in column A, a list of first names, and I wanna combine column A with column B, which has a last name, so that we have first name with a space followed by last name, and we'll put that in column C. And we're gonna use the concatenate function to do that. So I'll start off by typing equal sign, Start so typing concatenate, and that's the function we want right there, followed by a bracket, and then the cell we want to start off with, which is gonna be A1, type in a comma, and then we're gonna put in quotes, space, quotes, and what that means is we are gonna put a space, and what that space in between the quotes means is that we're gonna add a space in between the first and last name. Next, we'll type our second, cell that we're gonna combine the information, so B1 has the last name, followed by a close bracket, hit the enter key, and there you have it. We have first name, last name. Now what I can do next is to copy and paste that function into C2, so let's go ahead and do that. And that way I don't have to type in the function again for C2. Better yet, what I can do is use this fill handle, I'm gonna drag it down here, all the way down, and look what happens, it fills in automatically. In another example, I'm gonna show you how you can use a comma instead of a space when you merge those two cells information. For example, let's assume you wanted to have last name, comma, first name, very easy to do. Here we have column A, which has the last names, followed by column B, which has the first name. So what we're gonna do, instead of going to cell C1, let's type this in the formula bar instead. So we'll type concatenate, we're gonna have open bracket, again, A1, comma, double quotes, and then we're gonna add the comma there. Another set of quotes, followed by a comma, B1. And there you have it. We have last name, followed by first name. Again, we can use the fill the handle here and drag it all the way down, and that will update that formula for each cell, so that will be A2, B2, A3, B3, etc. So there you have it, a very easy way to combine separate cells into a new cell by concatenating that information into whichever way you want. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, Simon here from Simon Says It. Thanks for watching this video. If you need additional Excel 2016 training, check out our complete playlist of training tutorials here on YouTube by clicking on that link right over there. And if you like this video, feel free to like and comment below. I'll see you next week with additional videos.